Is there a new breed of general manager that's calling the shots in the NFL now? I call them Ivy League guys, analytical <laughs> guys like Major League Baseball has been in, in, infested by. Is there a new breed of GM that says, I didn't draft these other guys. I don't care. I want to win. I'm going to trade picks if I have to. I'm going to do business differently. Do you get that sense? Because I, I kind of. Yeah, I do. Uh, you know, and I think more so maybe five, six, seven years ago, I think the guys that are doing this now are a little more experienced. You know, I, you know I'm watching Ryan Poles in um, uh, Chicago, and I think he's made a couple of mistakes with some free agent signings, not this year. Uh, but I think he's learning on the job. Um, you know, and I think I, uh, you know, and I think that's what happens with some of these guys. It's learn on the job. And, uh, you know, some of these guys really aren't football guys. They're like, Went to, they took sports management classes and you know, some of them have, you know, uh, finance, law degrees, things of that nature. They just happen to love football. So and maybe played, maybe not. So, you know, you're, you're seeing some guys in executive positions, in high up positions in the NFL that are very analytic. They're, you, they use the numbers. They love the analytics. And those things rue the day rather than watching the tape. And I think it's got to be a combination of those things. And, and some, you know, have done well, some have been, some have failed, and, and some are, the jury's still out on. 